And the good thing is that, you know, this banana is start producing its fruits. Not to cultivate, just to harvest uh, some uh, purple uh, bean. What are you going to do with this fruit, Fema? You guys see my shadow, right? Hello everyone, I'm Didi La Giovanni. Welcome back to my channel. You know what? Last time I took some videos and uh, famous garden and to see how she cultivates some vegetables for her, uh, supporting her business and today I'm visiting again her garden to see how fast these vegetables are growing and also last time I showed you the banana trees here behind me as you can see it was producing fruit but apparently I'm gonna show you that the fruit is not developing so I don't know whether this because of the temperature this because of the um, the soil you will see but let me show you again how fast these vegetables are growing okay so stay tuned with me and if you have questions just drop yeah drop the question in the comment section later below but beforehand don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon too Okay, stay tuned and see you soon. Okay guys, I'm going to show you her little garden so that you can see afar from this side, from where I am, I'm standing. You can see the, um, the banana trees. There are some banana trees and one of the banana trees has been, you know, producing its fruit. So it's quite interesting. And in her tiny yard, Vema, uh, you know, plant different kind of vegetables and also fruits. Well, She's planting also onion, some onion. I think it's enough for uh, a family like like her. But since uh, she's in a um, business mode, uh, I don't think uh, she just need to have this small or tiny of uh, onion. Well, anyway, she's uh, cropping her own onion in her garden, which is great. Anyway, guys. What surprises me is that I see also here sayu is one of the vegetables uh, kind and this is a very exotic one. Emma told me, uh, I mean Fema told me that uh, this is one of the, um, how do you call it, the most favorite vegetables that um, she planted because she cannot find it anywhere in the shop so she planted by herself but maybe yeah she can she could find it in like one of the uh, biggest supermarket but in small supermarket but also again if you can plant the vegetables by yourself you know there's always a satisfactory you know you feel satisfied with your own result and she's planting um four sayu like this five ah oh, wow and she put a uh, wire so that uh, uh, this vegetables can grow up uh, to this uh, tree. This is up. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, this is apricot uh, apricot tree. She's also planting. Well, it's it's still in the family of green bean, but uh, the, the the fruit is uh, violet. So it's kind of purple, not violet. It's in French. Anyway, and uh, are you going to um, harvest this or panen? Namanya masih lama ya. Ah, July. I think yeah. She told me that in July she will be harvesting this um, purple bean. It's not green bean, but yeah, it's still in the family of green bean. Anyway, it's gonna be very delicious. She's even planting the uh, soya bean. 
here. They are still baby, but uh, it will grow very fast with this climate. It's 24 degree, 25, I, I think. But during summer, it's going to be more than 30 degree. Guys, maybe you cannot see because they are still uh, very young, still baby, I would say. But uh, anyway, uh, she's planting morning glory <laughs> to produce uh, these bio products, no? Excellent. All right, guys. Um, Fema has uh, been using her garden, little garden. I would say that she's doing her little farming in her own uh, yard. And in front of you guys, you can see these banana leaves. I was just surprised to see that, you know, banana trees can still, you know, be, um, how do you call it, planted in Switzerland with the, um, the temperature which you know um, the temperature here is always ch uh, changing so but just look at this wow and the good thing is that you know this banana is start producing its fruits you see she was so happy she's telling me that she's so happy seeing that uh, her banana trees is producing fruit. Here you see, I think this is a kind of salad. Hey guys, it's very rare to have these um, banana leaves and uh, producing fruit. But uh, as you can probably see that, yeah, you see that? They're producing some uh, fruit, but they are not growing uh, bigger, so it remains small like that. And doesn't I don't I don't think it's uh, it's a good to harvest that. Just to show you anyway that uh, this fruit banana trees doesn't produce fruit in Switzerland because of the I would say the temperature also the quality of the soil itself. Vema was very happy at the beginning, but then she realizes that no. It won't be uh, uh, getting bigger. And I saw you closer. You see? That's the fruit of um, her banana trees. Yeah. All right, guys. And this is um, 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 green bean, I would say. And there are, uh, you know, you see, they are uh, blossoming and soon they will produce some uh, uh, fruit. And yeah. Wow, last time was still very small and it grows quite fast this one is another type of bean uh, the one that you saw before was the uh, green bean and this is a, a kind of purple green uh, pur purple green so let me show you what Thema has in on her hand you see wow <gasps> she cultivates already I mean not she cultivates she harvest uh, some uh, purple uh, bean and she has more you see guys she has more like wow it's like a two meters maybe three meters yeah of this uh, uh, purple bean and this is of course salad I know this salad very well yeah and she has, she has a lot oh look at this how do you call this this is kind of like poishish where um, I saw you later uh, the the bean of poissis. It's like so soya bean, but it's not soya bean. Uh, let me just show you this one. Maybe this one. Yeah, it's. Uh, hold on. Yeah, this. Oh, wow, it's it's already. You know, I guess it's ready to be harvested. <laughs> so now let me show you the soya bean that are growing very fast. As compared to the uh, previous video or not previous video that yeah that I've shown you in this video and the uh, uh, wow look at this they're blossoming and soon they will produce the fruit soya bean wow it's quite fast this one also another soya bean that Vema is cultivating and they are also ready uh, to produce some fruit and soon, yeah, I guess. Yep. I guess, yeah, this is tomato. Wow, this is quite nice. You know, when you have business and you have small yard, and then you can optimize your small yard uh, to become 
you know, uh, to become a, a, a source of your products. That would be also in very nice, huh? Here are the uh, carrots. So, and I'm going to ask Vema, when is he going to um, harvest these uh, carrots? And uh, another one, this is, uh, what do you call this fruit or vegetables? Sayote. Ah, uh, yes, sayote. And this one is the, um, I think it's, it's like soya. It's not a peanut, so. Huh? This one is potato. See? <laughs> I'm not a farmer. I have no idea. Or oh, she's not also a farmer, but uh, she knows because she's in business for quite some time. So um, it's no wonder that uh, she knows uh, the difference between soya, <laughs> soya uh, tree. Yeah, the soya and uh, the uh, potato. And uh, well, let me show you another one. And you know what? This is also planting the morning glory. As uh, they are still small, uh, it's not very visible, but they are ready to, uh, you know, to grow. And oh yeah, see, maybe you see some seed that uh, goes out of the, the leaves. In two yeah. weeks we can get. In two weeks. We can harvest? Yeah. Wow, this is quite fast. And I'd like to show you, this is, um, you know, the, um, not garlic, the other one is, you know, how do you call this? Onion. Onion, yeah. It's like the small onion, it's like in, in As, Indonesia. Yes, Asian onion. Asian onion, wow, uh, perfect. Wow. And, and this is, um, how do you call this one? This sayote. is sayote. And um, how to make this sayote um, produce its fruit faster? Uh, Vema is going to show, uh, show me how. So, how to make this uh, sayote uh, produce fruit faster, Vema? Uh, better with pruning some, so to get the, the, the fruits uh, coming. So we have to Ah, you cut? Yeah, that's important. One of the trunk? Oh, can be many. After they coming like four branch, what? we have to cut. That's we call pruning. So we still can eat the young, this one. Ah, or, so. Uh, maybe curry. Okay. But I don't know, I don't think I have time to cook. I think I just do less some. Yeah. Like four every each this tree. Uh, wow, last time was still very small, yes. they are still baby and now they are growing very fast with yeah, this uh, temperature. This. Oh yeah, look at that. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, she says sorry to her plants, <laughs> uh, Sayuti, because she's cutting. That's quite long, I saw you. Yeah, yeah. see? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Better quality. Well, better quality, and therefore she has to cut some trunks and uh, to make uh, yeah to make the trees to produce faster uh, its fruit wow okay all right oh wow four okay i'm showing you how she cut she takes care of the uh, shayuti to produce uh, its fruit faster so she doesn't care how long it goes, but she just need to cut uh, the, the trunks. And yeah, you know. And wow. We can do many times for pruning. It's called pruning, yeah. The pruning session. Oh my God, I found also some, you know, lemongrass. She plants lemongrass here. Oh my god, wow. And yeah, the other one is, is uh, you know, uh, onion. Um, I would say that like, uh, you know, not the smallest onion or Asian onion. I would say this is a big onion that you can find uh, in the supermarket. And uh, yeah, the leaves. She's using these leaves to produce some very exotic snacks. You know? Ah, uh, it's like... Uh, what do you call it? Like, what kind of snack is that? That you use uh, this um, onion leaves? Uh, uh, samosa? Samosa, spring roll. Samosa, spring roll. Mandoan. Yes, it's um, very useful. Uh, it's very useful. 
you don't need to have this onion okay, inside, rice, but rice noodle. rice noodle also use the leaves. It has a very good taste, eh? yeah. also the smell. Mm. Ah. Mm. And she has many salaries, you know. The salaries here are quite expensive, you know, if you know the Swiss uh, price of this kind of vegetables. And salad, salad as well, everywhere. everywhere. And this all, she doesn't put any pesticide. She's using purely organic, you know. Wow, and look at this. This uh, tomato that uh, is producing its fruit. Uh, she has so many fruit. She has so many tomatoes, by the way. Another salad. And this is the aubergine or eggplant. Oh, oh, oh. wow, when they are you know, uh, producing their fruit. I don't know. She has plenty of fruit, and this cucumber. is, I think, cucumber. It's cucumber. It's like in Indonesia, smaller cucumber. Yeah, we bought. Yeah. Wow. She has uh, some plants. Ready tree. Ah, she but bought ready trees. Comparing with the, we make the. Ah, the other seeding, one, yeah. Seeding, but they're growing more, much better the seeding than. The seeding from the seeding. This yeah. is ah okay. She planted from from the seed, and then the, yeah, it goes faster as, as she discover discover this. But, it's too much. but then she said it's too much. Maybe I should come back here to uh, help her to cultivate, not to cultivate, but to harvest and bring back home. <laughs> zucchini. This is zucchini. Oh, wow. Oh look, they are they are fruiting. They're blossoming. Oh, look, you see some flower. I guess you can see some flower inside there. Ah, oh, she has many. And this is good for her business because she can she can take some you know additional vegetables from uh, directly her garden, and she doesn't have to go to the supermarket to buy the additional material. During and you guys also during the crisis, during, <laughs> during the COVID also, it's not recommended to go for shopping with so many people inside the shop. I was wondering, um, you know, some fruits have their seasons, some vegetables as well. Vema told me that there are some uh, vegetables that can resist even though in winter. And in front of you guys here, she told me that she's kind of like... Uh, um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, spinach. It's, this is like spinach. Even though in winter season, these vegetables can still go. I was like, yeah, unbelievable. Winter, you know, it's like minus two, and this leaf still life. It's almost kind of kale. It's Not, like a kale. Yes. Kyle. Oh, it wow. Should be, should be cooked. We cannot throw like. Ah, this. it Not should be cooked. Yeah, not kind of salad. It's not kind of salad yeah. that you can eat a rolly, yeah. yeah. yeah Alright. Oh good, good guys, yeah. It's like I have some knowledge about <laughs> <laughs> plantation, yeah. <laughs> some vegetables I would say. But let me show you a small part of her garden uh, that she's using to cultivate other fruits. So I don't know what is what is it called this fruit? Ah, uh, gozai. Gozai. And it's a bit uh, uh, acid, no? Yeah. Okay. And uh, this so one is uh, framboise? Uh, yes. I uh, don't know, raspberry? it's in English. Raspberry? Okay. Uh, uh, ras raspberry, yeah. yeah. What are you going to do with this fruit, Fema? It's just for a snack time when I'm doing gardening. Ah, uh, <laughs> She said for snack time while uh, she's gardening. And also we have the... Black currant? Black currant? Ah, ah this one, yes. Yeah. Ah, yes. For smoothie sometimes. For smoothie as well. Oh, yeah. Maybe it, it's hard early seen here, but I try to show it to you, try to show you guys. So, voila. <laughs> Here we make uh, some part for the fruit. Some part of her garden is uh, used or meant to cultivate some fruit, and uh, this is also she said she, this is also good for snacking some fruit instead of uh, snacking n'importe quoi, uh, whatever uh, snack you guys probably you know what I mean, right? It's not quite healthy, but uh, if you have these, you know, like what 
Is he showing me? Ah, the black current. Yeah. Ah, enak. Nice. Also, we have robab. Robab. Ah, wait. This one I show you guys. This. Yeah. It's a bit. Ah, yeah. I'll show you. Uh, it's reddish. You can. I think if you if you live um, in Europe, you probably have seen this kind of uh, rhubarb. It's very nice for syrup also, I guess. No? Yeah. Uh, yes, for syrup and for uh, tart. Yeah, for tart. Like, yeah. Like the pie. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So, guys, as you have already seen, how to optimize small garden or how big or how small your garden is if you can optimize like what Vemas is doing is very good because you don't have to rely on uh, you know the supplies from the supermarket if you can um, harvest or we can plant first and then harvest later from your own garden so I encourage everyone who has you know a garden in their places or houses to use the garden by cultivating some vegetables or um, fruits so that you can enjoy you can't, you know, it's, it's like therapy you can enjoy gardening you can enjoy uh, the harvest and share with your friends okay, I'm Didi Lujawane, thanks a lot for watching and if you have questions or uh, comments please write them down below in the comment section and if you like this video, please click thumbs up all right, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again next time, okay? Ciao!